Always a pleasure, Mr. Scully. You hear? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove Leo, Leo, up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? You could have called. Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here, quick. They're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong? With okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up. Henry, put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, 
Wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. This one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. And what did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. Sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. If Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been wanting to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never going to be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man.
me what you need, sir. Pick a color, any color. Here you go, pick a design. license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. You want a new plate? You got it. You looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Nice day, huh? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Thank you. Come again, sir! Empire Bay's news home. I'm Gary Stevens. The world of the world of television was painted with a splash of color. Empire Bay residents are finally able to get their hands on a color television set. Ed Orlick's Electrical Appliances is the first retailer in town to have the new color televisions on sale. On sale may be too strong a word, as the new sets are reported to cost over $1,000. Top men in the field of electronics are saying that the pricey color television sets will soon get way to 3D. Television. But you'll have to wait at least five years for those. Till then, it's Rosier on Radio. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stephen. Frankie, what, 
What are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, what? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito! Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay?
Where's Eric? You messing with me or what? <laughs> Where's Eric? Eric's in the kitchen, hun. But I think he's busy now. <laughs> Eric. Eric! What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. I'll teach you to hit a woman. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home. Stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you, got it? going, sir. So what can I do for you, sir? We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Here you go. Pick a design. No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem.
for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Francesca, Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you... You stay away from us, you understand? Just... just stay away! <laughs> Angel's Clothing, outfitting you for success. Just listen to what our customers have to say. I needed something sharp for a big presentation at work, and the friendly salesman at Vangel's found me the perfect suit. Vangel's tailoring department was able to hem an embarrassing rip in my pants right away. The Vangel's family has been in the clothing and tailoring business since 1922, so they know quality and won't give you the runaround on price. Vangel's Clothing, style that won't break the bank.
listening to ECNR Empire Central Radio. Empire Bay's home for that hot new rock and roll sound. ECNR. Central Radio News Break Time. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Listen, kids. The Home Electric Corporation has invented a device that allows you to change your television channel without getting off your seat. <laughs> I know, I know. It sounds insane, but it's apparently true, kids. Because Rockin' Ricky Fox would never lie. Now, that also means no more getting up from the couch to change the program because, as the folks at Home Electric are saying, you can now remotely switch between all three of your television's channels. <laughs> kind of gives new meaning to the term, don't touch that dial. <laughs> For Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cut! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! House! Fuck!
Get the fuck out. Possible stolen vehicle. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Roger that. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Copy that. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. 10-4. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. What were you, barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. I, I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's What Joe. the hell are these things? Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car.
Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the Mitch lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shit old joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Get these fucks. Back me up, Vito. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. What are you scared, asshole? I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. You're fucking dead, please! Let's kill that fucking... Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're a drunk. Get your shit Come on, let's go! Catch up! I'm going in! Oh, that asshole shot me. myself. Stylish garment for those of us with poor discerning taste. I'd hate to risk spilling anything out of that game. What's this Back me up, Vito. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. Hey. Sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. 
So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. When you've been back there, it doesn't even start to make up for you. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. And I'm a fucking wolf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full of you, isn't it? See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight.
What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there.